Now that we got that disclaimer out of the way, it is time to dive into some new slick strategies for the carpet installation business. What's cracking? It is Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do a carpet seam without a seam iron. I am so tired of the industry just overcharging for these crappy irons that just don't work. So we're gonna go ahead and mix things up and handle this on our own. Now we still are gonna use traditional seam tape. We still cut the seams my own style with the freestyle cut. Everything's lined up and beautiful, but we're gonna burn this baby with a slightly different method that we haven't covered yet. Now you can typically find this in any part of your garage plumbing tools any of that but let's go ahead and fire things up if you will big it bam we're gonna go ahead and put a seam together and see how it holds up so do not try this at home but it worked fantastic it's a great way to go ahead and exercise those insurance policies when you burn your house down when you're all said and done but we're just gonna go ahead and take this easing on top of that seam tape just heat it up a little bit now traditionally foreign guys are going to go ahead and use these torches for heating up their you know vinyl plank flooring if they're having a tricky cut their vcts but hey why can't the carpet guys use this too so we're just going to go ahead and eat up that seam tape real proper like just back and forth back and forth get it nice and even stevens watch that baseboard certainly don't want to ignite any fun on that if you know what i'm saying and once we have that nice and toasty we're going to see if we could put the seam together and get it to hold. So actually taking the hook knife at the other end there, just as a little barrier, little, little, see a good smoke screen kicking up there. This is why you don't want to try this at home, but it's good to see what's possible. Oh yeah, that's sticky. We're doing good here. I'm going to go ahead and just warm that up a little bit more back and forth. Ooh, getting it nice and toasty. It's like a perfectly toasted bagel first thing in the morning. And that carpet is about to be the cream cheese on top. You know what I'm saying? Working our way down to the end. I think we're about there. Are we there? Let's go ahead and see if this holds up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see that little flame kick in there? All right, we are. Ooh, it is getting hot on this seam. So, like I said, don't try this at home, but this was tons of fun to try and just mix things up from the mundane world of carpet installations and seaming carpet together. Now, I'm going to be real. It worked fantastic on this, but could you imagine trying to do a 20 foot seam like this? Something tells me it'd just be a hot mess, but we're just gonna go ahead and drop that down in that nice hot goodness there. Work our fingertips all the way across, getting it into place, blending it in. Let's go ahead and blend that in. Oh my goodness, absolute perfection. I have just started a new highly hazardous trend. That's why I'm gonna say it again. Don't try this. I'm the pro. You leave that up to me. We're going to tuck that in over there. We're going to tuck this in over here and clackety clack. Perfectly burned seam with a blowtorch. Thank you so much for tuning into my nonsense and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, thumbs up, baby.